Hi, good afternoon guys. This is Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming to you with an acrylic pour. And I'm so excited today because I've received in the mail, um, because everything um, I get basically for my pouring art is all delivered to my door by Capriol Shabby Chic. So, so um, happy to have a family run business helping me out in Australia um, but today they've actually sent me these new um, they're the Montmartre pouring paints that are all pre-made and I've used them lots of times before and this is usually the ones I get and they've sent me these they're all um, little sets and they're all different colours uh, like this one's called Simple that one's called Aura. Uh, what's that one called? Ethereal. They're all different little sets and they're all under $10. So I think they're $9.95 a set. So they sent me all these lovely colours and I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. What's that one? Rainforest. How gorgeous is that? and Flamingo, so they're all on uh, Capriol Shabby Chic's site. Um, you can order these little sets, so great for gifts, great for you wanna do yourself a little pour and um, not have to worry about anything. These do pour straight from the bottle, but um, if you want cells in them, then I suggest you just pour them into a little cup and you add some of, well I add the Helmar silicon. Montmartre do sell a silicon, but uh, my personal choice is the Helmar silicon, which I absolutely love. And it, you can get that basically all over the world on Amazon, but in Australia, we're lucky enough to get it from uh, the online Capriol Shabby Chic really cheaply. Um, so they sent me all these colors to try, so Obviously, over the next few weeks or a few days, I will be so happily trying all these new colours. And, of course, I'll bring you all along for the journey with me and I'll do different things with them, um, different styles. So, like I am today, I'm using the... These are the next size up. These are the 120 mils. This one is a complete pack of metallics and I love this pack and this is what I've mixed up today but what I've done is put them into the cups and I have added a ton because I'm going to do um, a bigot level well this is a 40 by 40 canvas I added a little bit of the Montmartre acrylic flow pouring medium instead of my own pouring me just a little bit of it so I'm going to try it and I added two drops of my Helmar silicone so I am going I'm so excited because I'm talking really really quickly so I'll slow myself down that's what I do when I'm excited talk really quickly um, last night there was a meteor shower here on the Sunshine Coast about three o'clock a.m. Uh, I missed it, but tonight again it's supposed to be on, so I'm going to set my clock so I can get up and have a look at it. And I thought, well, what more fitting than to do a kind of a night sky meteor shower. Now, that is the plan, but if you watch my videos, you know that that can change if things change, because as they say, life is like a box of chocolates and you never know which one you're going to get. So I just had, a, I ordered a box of these 40 by 40 Montmartre canvases. They're really nice canvases and I love working with this size. This size sells really well too when you're selling your art. Um, I have done all the right things and put my tape on the back and I, so I keep my bottom clean and I've put my giant push pins in. Somebody was saying, oh, I had such a lot of trouble getting those push pins in. I really hurt my thumbs. Well, you don't. You use a hammer. <laughs> you bang them in with a hammer. And when I come to get them out, I just give them a wiggle backwards and forwards, and then I pull them out. 
I'll be standing at the door. Why do you want, darling? <laughs> oh, just showing how I use my hammer, you know, keep you in order, babe. I'll have to use the hammer to keep, keep him in check. Um, no, so I use the hammer to put those push pins in, but you don't hurt your fingers trying to push them in like somebody said they had such sore thumbs trying to push them in. Yeah, no, you use one of, I keep this little, keep that little hammer, it's got my name on it so my hubby doesn't pinch it. Uh, not that that stops him, but anyway. So, here we go, I'm gonna do, I'm so excited to do this meteor pour out of these lovely um, metallic colors. Now my husband's standing there looking at me, making me all nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, why no, no, he's, oh, now he's chopped off. <laughs> oh, baby. He's even tell you, oh, the dog can stay. He doesn't make me nervous. No, my husband doesn't make me nervous. But you know when somebody's watching over you, you feel, or I, I know I'm excited. And he's like looking at me with rolling his eyes, like thinking, what the hell is she on? She's so excited. Anyway, okay, let's do this, hey, let's do this. So, just hoping and praying that it um, comes out beautifully. So, we just give it a go, hey, because there are a few things that I haven't added in these particular paints. So, we just try it. So, this is the metallic silver. So I'm using all metallics in this today, except the white. Oops, oh, get that over my shirt and I haven't got a, a pinny on, an apron, apron, apron to the court. Okay, this is the rose gold. So that was the metallic silver, this is the metallic rose gold. Remember, I just added a squirt of the pouring medium um, and two drops of the Helmar silicone. So we'll see what we get. Oh, I love these colours. I'm yeah, so excited to get into those new colours. I mean, that's really, really exciting to, that they're coming out with new colours and they are available. So hop on the site and order them. I'm not sure if those colours are available in the US and Canada yet. I'll have to try and find out. I'm not sure um, if they are available overseas yet, but I'm pretty sure that they will be soon if they're not already. But, um, try and find out for you, you know, I just know they're available in Australia, so at the moment, where I want to be creating every day while while we're all in um, this forced isolation, I just want to, you know, was so excited that they sent me those. So thank you, Cabriol Shabby Sheep. They're a family-run business, and I always had good feedback off uh, people that come on my site to say they were very helpful to them and the products delivered on time so you have to support uh, all I believe be, uh, local family businesses because we are a local family business and so I like to uh, be able to support other local family business and especially in times that we're having at present so these are quite thick so I'm wondering if I've gone way overboard as I do Let's try and, okay, I'm running away with myself. So that was the, is it the uh, bronze? And this is the gorgeous, gorgeous gold. So I'm gonna, doing is always metallics, and then I will swipe with the kind of black, the uh, navy that I've made out of the black and I squirted black, uh, the uh, dark blue, phalo blue, and um, what else did I put in there? Oh, and a squirt of dark green. It makes a really nice navy. So I'm just giving this a whole tilt all over this lovely, lovely canvas. Oh, just really hope this one is a stunner. 
I haven't done all metallics like this for a fair while now. Um, not not you know using all metallics so and that's a lovely set anyway to buy from the range as this week I've been working a lot with the boom gel stain which I love too it's a different company boom gel stain I think it's that's the company called boom gel products I think lovely 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 don't worry too much about your very edges on this because you can just dab with your runoff the uh, just finger pop it finger dab it and I you know I like to mess with that after it's all finished after I've got the focal point the top finished then I can uh, mess with the sides because that's easy done so it's just tilting this this is a lot thicker paint that's why i decided to add a bit of that flow medium i'm not sure if i put that particular flow medium in these paints before i don't think i have i've put it in the um studio acrylics and i i still prefer the uh, montmartre clear glue and water as my pouring medium but you know i I'm willing to try, try them all. Okay, lovely, 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 jubbly. Um, I do want to put a bit of the white. Now this isn't a metallic, it's just the, the white. Just wanted to put a bit in. Won't put too much, but Oh, those colours are lovely. So nice. Righty-o, righty-o. Now, what do I swipe it with? Do I swipe with... I suppose I just swipe with my normal or... I haven't got a Swifty swipe made up. I haven't made one just lately. I will swipe with the... Oh clean piece of the um, this is the soft plastic file divider so it's just got that little bit of weight about it it's not too flimsy it can be quite firm so that's why I particularly like those now this is the navy that I made up and I made it up with black oh ultramarine blue and a blob of the very dark green in the um, Montmartre pouring paint so it's quite runny uh, maybe i've done it oh, that's just the straight black oh what should i might just try this very edge and see what i get because i'm a bit worried there because that feels like really quite runny um i'll try the edge and see how we go swiping and see if I can get this to play nicely well, I think it may be fine okay oh shall i try this edge i'll try the just this is just straight black so i might just try it just for easy peasy lemon squeezy uh really need a bit more room here give myself look oh, what am i doing there going a bit slippery sliding let's see that's the black is really black isn't it which probably would make it 
more meterish, showerish. I want to just give it a whiz with my wonder wand to see which comes up with the nicest starry night look. So my little wonder wand still going even though I've trod on it. Oh, really little champagne cells. Look at those. Oh, I like it. I think the black is going to look more like the night sky that I was after, the meteor shower look, isn't it? Oh my God, guys. But then it's, oh, what shall I do? What shall I do? Should I do half and half? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna do with the black, just because that's not sort of, I mean, it looks as though it's gonna take over a lot more, but I'm just gonna go with it. You gotta go with your gut. Remember, it's your art room, your rules. Just do what you feel your heart desires. So here we go. Might go back over that a little bit too with that. So we go from here down. So you just let about one centimeter of your swipey tool. If it misses a bit like it has there, don't stress over it because it's nothing that can't be fixed up afterwards. All of those metallics will pop through and especially when it's dry. It has kind of taken over the whole lot, hasn't it, the black, but I'm just hoping. I wanted the meteor shower, so that's what we're gonna get, hopefully. Fingers crossed. With all those gorgeous metallics under there, it's going to be fine. I'm not too worried about it. A little thing like that because I can always give that a little teeny tiny balloon pop which I might very well do just around the frame of it because I did that the other week and it, oh it was so gorgeous one of my family members took it straight away well once it was dry <laughs> haven't even um, varnished it yet so <laughs> anyway Okay, I'm gonna plod on with this. My little, uh, this is just a, a heat tool. Somebody asked, oh, just, I won't talk while I'm trying to do it, sorry. It looks like little champagne cells or a very starry night. Those will come up more in an hour or two. They'll pop through gorgeously. Okay, I was asked by somebody, what is the temperature on your heat wand? Because it isn't like the commercial ones that you would get like a man would buy out of a garage. Let me see if I've got my new, yeah, I've got my new one here. Uh, okay, the maximum temperature is 350 degrees centigrade, so that's the maximum. So it won't burn your canvas, like if you get the commercial heat gun from the hardware, those will burn just like a butane torch does. But this you would have to really hold it and hold it and hold it for it to set a light. So very safe, I find them much easier to use and safer than the butane. I absolutely love that little wand. Okay, teeny tiny champagne cells look absolutely delicious. I know that all those colours have disappeared but they're all under there and they will shine through and what I will do after I've left it for about an hour, I'm just going to do my balloon embellishment around as a frame. So I'll just show you. I, I might need to get a new one fixed up because this is looking a bit worse oh my gosh that is gonna look stunning see that's too thick at the top yet you can see that it just is oh 
look at those. I need to be pressing these on another canvas. Um, you can tell when you do this little balloon, I've just put a little bit of water. It's a normal size balloon. I just put it under the tap and put a bit of water. It just adds a bit of weight. When you want to do some balloon embellishing, um, it just adds like a whimsical look, like a fireworks or stars. Oh, goodness, those are gorgeous. It's too thick at the top. See, when I press, nothing happening. So I'll wait for that to dry off at the top. Look, press, and there's not much color comes through. But if I leave that to dry off, then all that color from underneath will come off. But where you see the areas that there's not so much paint, obviously, down the edges, it's coming absolutely beautiful. So I am gonna do like a frame this so the behind of it looks like the um, meteor shower and that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to just leave this now for a while and I will be back with you in like one second but it will be about half an hour okay guys just come back to um, show you what I did around I in blue and embellished it um, around the edge so it looks as though you're looking through to the meteor shower in the background it does really look quite 3d-ish so i might just finish off a few teeny tiny balloon embellishments in between things um, but please wait till the end and you will uh, see how it looks like when it's dried up so it was fun doing it, so much fun with those paints. They leave a completely different experience than sort of big round chunky cells. They leave the lovely little champagne looking cells and those colours pop through and those metallics will just definitely all glisten when it's uh, all dried and especially if I give it a coat of the um, fusion pour and resin where I just wipe over it. Uh, so guys that's it what do you think does it look to me it, it has turned out how I envisage which is unusual I wanted it to look as though you were looking through to the meteor the the star filled sky in the back with the um, frame of those balloon kisses so thank you again guys for joining me thank you so much for subscribing to my channel I appreciate each and every one of you and wait till the end of this where there will be photos of the finished product okay thanks guys stay safe oh my goodness guys oh, I forgot to show you um, when I was merrily going along uh, doing my balloon embellishments which embarrassingly I thought my video was on while I was doing it it wasn't and I got this um, MDF round and I just, um, when I push my balloon in there, I just was plonking them. I was just plonking all of the balloon kisses over this. So I've got a two for one. So that was just the uh, balloon kisses onto, I just quickly put some of the black on this. I just actually spatula it on. It's an MDF round placemat that I'll get from Kmart. So I've got two for the price of one. There you go. So very excited about that i'll work on a little bit more and thanks for joining me <laughs> bye for now